it's raining seeds. Hallelujah. This is an awful one. I, I don't enjoy this one. It is pitch black. What are you doing it then? So it's a production line, so you don't get to pick what comes up. Although I want to show, out some, show off something. Oh no, it doesn't do it. What did you think you were doing? <sighs> She's typing. Ah! There we go. If you type tricked out without a space, it does cool things to your lawnmowers. But what are they now then? Oh, they're still lawnmowers. They don't do anything different. Did they just look, look cool? different. Did you just remember that in between recording sessions? Maybe. How long has it been since we last recorded this? Months. Months. Pre-Peggle. Pre-Peggle. That's quite bad. Pre-Overcooked. Pre-Spore. I think it was before Christmas. How do you spell daisies? D-A-Y-S-I- Wait. D-A-I-S-I-E-S. <gasps> there we go. So the Tree of Wisdom basically gives you cheats. Yeah. So what's the deal with this? Just production line plus fog. Yeah. And it's just a pain. You can't see anything. It's it's not quite as bad as the level with the complete blackout, but it's not particularly helpful. <laughs> Fun thing about the episode, the footage from it was noticeably of a lower bite rate. Uh, so like the bit rate, or bite rate, I don't want to call it bite rate because it's bit rate. The bit rate is like the amount of... It's like kilobytes per second or megabytes per second of amount of video data. Yep. The recording at that end had notably lower data rate because it's got a lot of just black screen in it, essentially. Oh. Have I not shown off the blowers? You had, but I wasn't trying to work on this. It does. But obviously not for long. Brains. Brains. So you're a bit too schmaug with that one. Yeah, I kind of can't not do the, what you call schmaug. I should have figured it was smaug. Smaug. You did in a kind of schmooshy voice for some reason. Schmaug. Uh, it must be the Irishism. My uh, brother-in-law used to have a schmig, which is basically a goatee. Schmig. Schmig. Man, you've only got one of like directly offensive C so far. I know. It's so annoying. So if they get to the bottom, will they go? They sit Ugh. somewhere around the near bottom for a while. Near, near bottom. Near bottom. Well, that's another shooty thing. Like fuck. And yeah, it'll start to flicker, so I'll leave it flickering just so you can see it. There you oh, go. Yeah, you can launch it because there must be something on the map somewhere. Be, you know. Can't plant on that. Flickers. Man, you are getting a lot of feet here. It's just, it's a really terrible level. I just, I don't like it. It doesn't yeah. let me plan, doesn't let me do anything. It's, it's, I feel like it's pissing in my face. It is. Literally. That level has nothing. I do now. Oh, it's... there's a gargantua, it looks like. Oh no, it's just a person with a... Ignore me. It looks like a gargantua, but smaller. Okay. Oh, I'm about to use that, lose that fire thing. Eh, you might shoot with the scar guy just in time. I think you might just be within range of it. Or maybe not. Oh yeah, you lost him. Yeah. So yeah, crater's healing though. No crater healing. Oh yeah, because you can't plant stuff on it, can you? Nope. Not until it's healed. Where did that tangleweed go? So it's just sitting there oh, for right, the battle really bad. I kind of missed you clicking. Yeah, it didn't just dis disappear into the ether. Just disappear. Just disappear. So, Doctor, you reset up your uh, new recording studio. What do you think of it? Yeah, it's not bad. I've moved flat. Um, so there'll be no more sudden... Oh, there goes the electricity. <laughs> because I have normal <laughs> electricity here. Yes, like um, a steady current. New house. So that, that's quite nice. Um, we may upgrade to a new microphone setup soon. Which will be awesome when it happens. Because currently, yeah, this sort of just single old one is it's not dying, but it's not ideal. And it's having problems. It's had a couple of problems, which I think maybe are as much related to old hard drives as old microphones, but I think the issue is, say, here, we've got two of us. We've got the mic essentially facing the sprite and me just off camera to the side because I'm significantly louder than her, so it's okay. But, like, the issue is, yeah, when you've got two people on the same mic, one of whom is quiet, which is basically me and Everyone. A a anyone, <laughs> yeah. So we'll have some multiple mics set up coming soon, hopefully. Yeah, and again, my apologies for being so quiet. I'm just, I'm just terrible, apparently. You're getting better at it. I'm just not good at projecting. I was a very loud teenager. So I had to uh, restrain myself. Fair. So yeah, as you can see, this, this level just, it gives you like, crap all. It's not a good one. It really does. It, it's not kind to you. At least you have, you've distributed so you've got at least one shooter per level, pretty much. Hopefully. Are they gonna throw you some bonies and shit? Um, I can't remember, but those things are just handy anyway. Three I of those will yeah, kill yeah. a normal zombie. 
Oh no. That's a fucker. Of all the fucking plants, I would have given up anything except the stars. But that's the thing, they know. Yeah. And there's... See, that's the thing, it'd be annoying if they gave you an umbrella thing as well. Mm. So. Oh, I've uh, been uh, getting my nieces and nephews to uh, play through Plants vs. Zombies. Go on. And uh, it's really interesting to see the way that they approach things. Because um, they, they don't go in for the saving um, st like sunlight right from the beginning. They get too impatient to, to start planting. So they always end up using the lawnmowers and stuff like that. But they, they get through them. They do really well. But as I say, the game is a little bit idiot-proof. But uh, it's fascinating just to see the different ways that they do things. Yeah. But then again, I'm just out of pain when it comes to this game. Because I like everything in neat order and blinds. Um, there we are. Okay, there's a forward shooter on every row. Do the sh oh no, the stars don't shoot forwards. No, they shoot in weird directions. Fuck yeah. That's handy. Yes. When did that crazy- did you slap a doom shroom over that? Ages ago. Okay, I missed that, I think. Yeah, it was, it was blind because again I couldn't see anything, yeah. so. There we go. Now, the that's one good thing about these kinds of levels. They do eventually, if you're lucky, you do eventually end up with some good firepower. Yeah. But, uh... The plan turns essentially indefinite, isn't it? Yeah, unless it gets eaten. Oh, dick in the box. No. Get the dick. shroom might work. Uh, don't, yeah. Oh, no. Don't blow up my, uh, I love it so. Oh, you put a Johnny around it now? Oh, yes. I do love the pumpkins. Oh, this, um, so in the iOS version, you get some differences. And, um, you don't get some of the colour animations, so I'm gonna have to show it in a minute. The, um, uh, the, the Zen Garden plants, the ones that give you money, the marigolds, are different colours if you buy them versus the ones that you That's the same earn. It's, it's in this, but it's not different colours in the oh, iOS one. Right. They're all white if they're marigolds, there are no different colours. Golden marigolds, yeah. Um, so, yes. Um, and another thing that I've recently discovered having replayed through Plants vs Zombies for the god knows how many times. Um, they've... there's a... there's a... issue. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that just looked talks. fantastic. Continue. Um, there's an issue with um, playing Portal... the Portal Relocating game. Uh, the portal level. I don't we, know if we've had it we yet. We haven't yet, I don't think. There's a portal Spoilers. level. Spoilers! There's a portal level. And, um, yeah, if you play through that one, it just freezes when the first portal relocates and that's it. So you can't Maybe win the, the, the achievements. The processes at the time. No, it used to be fine, because I've played through it many a time. I've played design for an old iOS. Yeah, it does seem like, when to be I, when I start, when I, after the series, I installed Peggle onto my phone, and it was like, you need a, it was like, make sure you have the right iOS first. And it was like, you need at least five, but less than seven. <laughs> and I was like, okay, being on 10. And it still just let me play it. It might be doing something weird further down the line. I don't know. I've got as far as Splork Splorkin and nothing's being strange, but who knows. Well, hopefully it'll work fine. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm most disgruntled because this issue happened about a year ago, according to the, the complaints boards. It just cropped up. And um, yeah, and it hasn't been fixed. Stealing an entire tournament. Yep. That doesn't seem fair. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, there's shit all... You've got gobs there, I think. Behind the pumpkin at the bottom might work. Oh my goodness, you're going for it. Ah, it's behind a walnut. Lucky me. I didn't know that was there, and I, I don't think either. you did either. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly I wasn't aware of it if I did know it at some point. Oh, balls. Um, so yeah, so now I'm never going to complete my, uh... Alright, my full second run achievement on the uh, iOS because it's it's apparently just not being fixed. In fairness, it doesn't surprise me this game is no longer in active development because it was like 10 years old. It is 10 years old, but get this, so it's apparently it's currently owned by EA, but PopCap made it originally, so PopCap has sold it to EA, yeah. and EA have bought it, they do sell it, but you can't get the, the fixed version and they're not answering anyone. That's because it's EA. Yeah, fair. You've heard about Mass Effect 3 and Mass Effect Andromeda and all that kind of stuff, yeah, bringing out essentially broken games. Yeah, it's just... Or unfinished, at least. 
Well, that's the thing. It's a finished game. It's perfect. Don't mess with it. And apparently they have. There would have been. I suspect what may have changed it would have been an iOS update. Maybe. And then they have to do some work in order to fix that, and that's what they're not doing. But I want it to work again. I want the animation. How much do I love that phrase? Or that locking style? I mean, you're not supposed to like it. It's taking the piss. Yeah, but it's, you know, unacceptable taking the piss. I was explaining this to someone who's foreign recently. You know, the British taking the piss out of one another humour. Go on. Well, I was explaining to her about why we do it, why it's okay, and why she didn't like the person who was doing it with her. And she explained the situation, and basically he um, he didn't know her very well, and he was saying that she has uh, no boobs to speak of anyway, and she just got really uncomfortable and stopped talking. And he keeps trying to banter with her, but what he says is hurtful rather than funny. Are you sure that's being British, not just being a twat? See, I, oh, that's what I said. I said, That's no, the risk. He, he is just being a twat. There he are people who can do taking the piss humour quite well, but then there are also people who say they're doing the taking the piss, and in reality what they're doing is offending you, and then when you get offended they go, Oh, what's the matter? Can't you take a joke? And those are the worst people. Yes, and I'm basically saying he's one of those. So I was explaining, I, I quite like my hair, it's, it's crazy, it's all over the place, it's a safe mocking thing. So it's generally the thing my friends mock the most about me is the fact that you, know, you can find my hair everywhere, it's insane. You can see me coming a mile off because of the hair. It, it's this big long running joke and it's always fine. But people don't joke about um, a certain body portion of mine that I'm just uncomfortable with. And anyone who knows their, their humour gets that immediately, never jokes about it. And it's that thing of when you're doing the, the, the British friend banter, it's not about being hurtful. It's about knowing what's hurtful and avoiding that, but being able to drive about things that people are confident about. Yeah, picking the easy targets. I said easy targets in terms of safe targets, more safe. than easy targets. Yes. And, and I was saying, yeah, he doesn't sound like a particularly uh, nice or clever gentleman. And that's what, you know, that, that was a defining difference there. Um, and it was really interesting sort of discussing this with someone who was from a foreign country whose English was perfect. Where are they from? Out of interest. I would love to tell you. Roughly. <laughs> um, so it came to I had a very amusing conversation earlier today where it turns out the sprite has no idea where the Netherlands are. When asked yeah. to board, to, when asked what countries border the Netherlands, she came out with Holland, which is another name. Uh, no, the, actually, no. you said asked what you, you asked about Holland, and you were like, "What borders Holland?" And I'm like, "Surely the Netherlands." I know which there's is, something different in about English. It. The same name for the same country. No, it's not. No, Holland it is. is a part of it. Right in this country. In England, we refer to Holland as a name for the Netherlands. Mm. You did not, right. This just happened to be my Dutch housemate then came in and said, actually, technically, Holland and the Netherlands are separate things. Do not act, no, I swear do I not think... act like you knew no, that. No, that, that does fortuitous. like ring some Fuck weird bell. Off. No, you can piss right off because- Right, what countries border Holland then? The Netherlands. What the Netherlands. Um, Germany and Luxembourg. No, Belgium. Oh, uh, Belgium. What is Belgium? What is Belgium? Um, it's what language do they speak in Belgium? Um, oh, French and... I have a hint. Dutch. Just, yeah. And? I mean, that's not fair. You're just tagging on the languages now. No! That's a... Oh, I mean, they speak English. <laughs> yeah, official languages. That's three. French, Dutch, and... Oh, c come on. I've got two of the official languages. What yeah. more do you fucking want from me? The famous one that's Belgian. Belgian? Flemish. Flemish. Which is a kind of weird Dutch thing. Essentially, you just click randomly on this until uh, it works. Basically, yeah. Sometimes you have an idea because you can see there's a pair somewhere nearby and you're trying to figure out how you can make it work. Fair. But no, basically, the way I've had it described to me, which works quite nicely, is um, basically Belgian, uh, no, Dutch, wait. <laughs> best to is. Flemish, a, a Dutch person hearing Flemish spoken is like, a British English person, an American hearing British English be spoken. Oh yeah, you can uh, shuffle plants by doing that. Okay, yeah. A, a Dutch person hearing Flemish spoken is like a is like an American hearing British English spoken. Mm. There's there's partly a kind of oh that's so quaint, and there's partly a you sound ridiculous. <laughs> and to Flemish people, the Dutch sound kind of like uncouth. Fair. But it's it's essentially the same language. That it is like it's. Probably you'd call it a dialect of Dutch. Fair. Because it's, yeah. 
I apologise to the viewer, all you can hear is manic clicking at this point, say, but yeah. it's it's kind of difficult to do. Really? Well, because you've got to... I can see a couple of you do. <sighs> so do that one there, yep. That makes three. Oh my god. Uh, one of those, or both of them. Oh, no, oh, it has to do one instantly, doesn't it? Yeah, you can't set up. No, you can't set up. There. What? Oh, do, can you not rotate the way around you go? Nope. Try right clicking. I swear I started pointing the other way once. Nope. Fair. So it only goes. Only goes clockwise. Turn wise. So it is. It's tricky. Yeah, you can see that a bit more. Yeah, I'm not just being a doof. Really? Every day you surprise me more and more. Why do I put up with this crap? It's funny, don't it? Keep telling yourself. Thank you, though. So, uh, yeah, so you end up manic clicking on this one. I don't do this in proper um, shuffling one. Uh, yes, there are no possible moves. There I you had, go. I had the jewel twist for the Nintendo DS. Wow. Yeah. Bought it in the US. Cool. And that was how I learned that some DSs are region locked, other ones aren't. Oh, wow. So it played fine on my original DS, but it didn't play. It didn't play on my brother's DSi oh. because the, I don't know about DS Lite, which was one in between. But certainly later models of DS then had region locking. Oh. Switch though is not region locked. Good to know. No possible. Oh, then why I, are you giving them to me? I know this because a friend of mine brought a Switch in the US while uh -huh. he was over there, um, but then ran out of money and couldn't buy any games and hasn't been able to buy games since he's been back here. Oh. But they work fine. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Um, I say games, I mean Breath of the Wild, because that's all the fucking Switch has right now. But I mean, yeah, fair. Breath of the Wild and a load of games that are already out on Wii U. Um, also, in case anyone's interested, there's a... Um, there's a, an achievement on the iPhone Is that like an achievement? IOS. It's an achievement. I'm pretty sure you had achievement. <laughs> I don't think I did, but Check it's possible. Tapes. Check the tapes. Um, there's an achievement which is upgrade all of the um, plants in the old. That's surely easy. Uh, you'd be surprised. You only get sunlight for getting a, a string of connected ones, yeah. so you can't really control whether or not you get them, especially yeah. in this one. It's really hard to. Dude, you're, do you're not controlling anything here. I'm not. I've given up hope. I'm occasionally tapping stuff on the screen to get it to click it when I actually see one. But obviously it's easier when you're not playing to see things. Fair. And it's just frustrating. That's why editing stuff like this is the worst. Because you're just there like, click on it, click on it. Can you see it? Do it! Can you not see that? I've been finding that with Overcooked. It's so frustrating. It's hard to edit Overcooked. It's hard to watch as well. Like, it's good, but it is hard to watch because you're just like, why are you standing there with... Maybe there's like, I, I see myself just standing there with like unfried meat trying to put it in a burger and, and I'm just standing there like, oh, why is it working? And I'm just like, put, put it in the fryer! <laughs> Meat in the fryer. Meat. What? Why is this hard? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me. No, we all do it. 